Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. When last we unearthed some Arcana, Bigby's palm heel of chain lightning and chlorine gas, that is the dummy load cell recently christened Electro Boom 2. Dot, ought, trademark, no relation. What it lacks in googleness, it abounds in sketchiness. We were engaged in a game of chicken with a breaker and a kilowatt. Lo and behold, the kilowatt done let the smoke out. Now, electronicals and electromechanical contrivances of all types can be explained by one of three ways of varying degrees of semantics. I prefer the conventional theory, charge goes from positive to negative. That is, current moves from positive to negative. However, it's absolutely ridiculous because you're not moving holes around, you're moving electrons around. So electron theory dictates that electrons move from negative to positive. However, don't make, no, never mind, you can uh, switch betwixt the two and it doesn't make a lick of difference because the real way it works is by smoke. There's a once famous, come infamous inventor, British, name of Lucas, heretofore called the Prince of Darkness, who purported that electrical contrivances actually run on smoke, magic smoke to be precise. And if one let and released the magic smoke, the device was, as the French say, de fucky. We are going to have a look at the kilowatt to see if indeed we can see some signs of the magic smoke monster being released from some integrated circuits in order to see if she is indeed the fuck it. Yeah. Used to be in darker times and better climes, you could purchase on the open market Lucas Oil smoke, replacement smoke for components what had expired. Nowadays, of course, with the profit margins, you just throw the Jesus things out. Now, we do not see any smoke, no shit stains. However, there appears to be some sort of thermal component here, which is very, very suspect, and also a fuse. You'll forgive me for using my son's meter here, the Fister Price. He's but two. I know, mitts on him, right? Takes after his mother. Big shoes, big feet. Oh, man. I, <laughs> my, don't make fun of me. I've already shown enough. No, I had to pull up my fly there. My nerd was showing earlier with the unearthed arcana. I, I understand that. But, you know, a dog whistle's a dog whistle. Nothing there. Not something there. Oh, nice. It's the thermal fuse what cut out. As it happens in my bag of tricks, I don't happen to have one of these. However, it's on perpetual back order. So in the interim of fixing it proper wise, what we'll just do is temporarily permanent. Whoop. Whoop. I'll just whip out my handy dandy Hicko 888D piece of junk. Don't ever bother buying one of these. And if you got one, go ahead and put it on Kijiji so somebody can pick it up nice and cheap. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. They are handier as frig. But they don't turn off, so you got to watch out if you're the forgetful typer. Like the Dewclaw. Rather enjoy the devil's lettuce on occasion. With me being in Canada, fellas were saying about my breakers, make sure they're not the Federal Reserve style because they don't trip that breaker. They just keep printing money. Luckily, I got the more European style. I got all up in its face and got a snoot full of Siemens. I got the Siemens breakers in here, so we're okay that way. But I appreciate you guys uh, hipping me to maybe not burning down my hacienda. It's the little things. Speaking of little things, and much to my chagrin, many of you had mentioned to me that that handsome hirsute young Persian fella would come from Vancouver just recently did a video about uh, putting in some outdoor heating on account of the COVID and he ran into the same problem with the breakers not tripping and he actually looked into it and of course the breakers have a breaker trip curve and they don't curve uh, the, 
they don't curve to the left, they curve to the right type deal. They, they're time delay, IR squared, so forth and so on. But what really got my goat was the son of a bleaching fella. He's got 500,000 views on putting in a heater. Meanwhile, I'm busting my fucking nards over here in front of my fire, uh, hitting 200. That's like, uh, and he bleeps out all his cuss words. You don't think he's on to something there. That's all, folks. I got the soldering iron plugged in. Safety squints engaged it. It works. It's working. Now all we need to do is wait for the component, and that way we have it to put in prior to the insurance man inspecting the smoking ruin. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. And uh, thanks for letting me know about that, that uh, this thing with the thing. I appreciate it. You know who you are.